and welcome back to this week's video or welcome if you are new. If you are new, don't forget to subscribe as well as give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy it and welcome to the family. So for this week's video, I'm going to tell you guys some Instagram life hacks that I personally have found out recently and I absolutely love them. I use them all the time now and yeah so I just wanted to share that with you guys and yeah so let's get straight on into the video so first we're gonna be talking about Instagram stories and some of these I didn't realize until I started to do a little bit more research myself so I thought I would share these things with you guys so let me turn my screen recording on Okay, so we are going to be going onto the Instagram app, and this is my page, as you guys can tell. The first thing is color palettes on the story. Most people don't know about this, but if you're going to take an Instagram picture like this one, I'm just showing my, here, let's take a picture. So for this, um, what we're going to do so you want to go ahead and type. Well, you're going to see this little color palette come up at the bottom. And you're going to click. And as you hold that down, this color palette shows up of more color options than what you normally will see. So this can give you a little bit more of a variety when you want to type and put some of your things in color to make your Instagram a little bit more, or to make your Instagram stories a little bit more, just like different, and just for them to stand out. Um, so let's take a picture. Okay, so I just put a fil random filter on it just for the moment, but what we're gonna go ahead and do is we are gonna type like normal. So for this, I'm just gonna say YouTube video or I'm going to say filming. So I'm going to type F and under the classic you will be able to do this little block if you click the A and then I'm going to go ahead and do my little trick that I just showed you guys for switching the color. I do this pastel-y pastel pink color. So now you can go ahead and adjust it and then go back to the typing and now you can do each letter like that. So we're going to take a picture and I'm just going to write YouTube. YouTube. There we go. Okay, now I'm just going to leave this in the white. I'm going to do YouTube again and I'm going to do this for example in this purple color okay now what you can do is expand that and basically just layer it over like that and then that gives you a 3d bubble effect um and it looks really cool i personally like it and i've used these if you guys follow me on instagram you guys have seen me do this with my casely um ad promotion on my Instagram story I actually used this technique so I definitely love it so next I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do the little click here thing that most people don't know about and it's like an add-on feature that you get when you hit like 10k so this is how you can do it if you have under 10k so I'm gonna discard that and Let's go over to my Instagram page. So this picture, really actually love this picture. So I'm going to click this little, the little send thing, little airplane, and we're gonna click the add post to story. So you're gonna get this little setup right here and you can keep it like this just so people can click on it and go straight to your story or you can do it as a zoomed in so you have just the picture and it looks like you know you put it on your story regularly and then say you want to put a little gif 
that says click here or tap here and then click send to and just send it straight to your story. Now that it's on your story, this is exactly what you can do. You click it and it says see post and it takes you straight to that Instagram picture. So this is what you can do to promote that you have a new picture. Next, I'm going to show you guys how to do the gradient effect on your stories. So take a picture and then write filming or whatever you're going to be typing. And then I'm going to click this color right here. We just did this pink. Now if you go over it, as I drag this little cursor, you can adjust each color. And so I'm just picking random colors, but so you can basically make it a gradient fill. You can do each letter a different color. However you want to go ahead and set this up, you can do that. And basically that's how you can get each letter a different color, or you can make it into a gradient look, but that's just a quick little example. The next app that I use is called Storylux. And this one you guys see me use a lot on my stories. Um, basically what I do is I pick one of these little things. They have Kodak, Instant, Fuji, Elf Word, Collage, Love, Neon, Element, Edge, Explo, Fl Flora, and Moi. So Moi is just um, like more stuff that they have that you see um where people do like the choices like this versus that or things like that um i tend to do kodak i think is the one that i go to normally yeah so like for my most recent instagram picture that i used this app for i went on to kodak and i just use this little film i go to my media and then all my medias and I'm gonna pick my recent thumbnail and then you can click backdrop and a bunch of these backdrops come up where you can have different styles of background that definitely give it a little bit of a different feel to it if you want to like style up your Instagram stories and then you can play around with the size and the branding and all of that stuff the borders you can do a color border if you want to do a color border for it whatever you are feeling the next one is story art which this one I absolutely love as well um what I'm gonna do is basically I do this for my stories um to create my story highlights but these are just like some basic ones that they have in here um so you can have them all customized and that's just kind of what I do for my story highlights. The next one that I use is Mojo, which I've gotten so many questions about Mojo, which I really love this. And basically you just input a bunch of photos and it basically like drops them down, like as you guys can see with this one over here. And just basically creates a really cool like design element I feel like with your photos and stuff on your story so the recent ones I've been using so like this one is new post so you can go ahead and click the photo so this is the recent photo that I posted um, as I'm as of me filming this video and it like shows the photo and then it has new post check it out and you can go ahead and adjust the color that you want it to be you can do the font size, you know, you can change the font itself and just all of these different things um, to your liking. As well as the one that they have that I absolutely love and I've gotten so many questions about is the cinema pack that they have on here. I like to use this one when I have a new post in particular um, that I really want to share that I personally love and what I'm going to do is go to medias and, for example, say if I was absolutely obsessed with this picture. Go ahead and it says new post. And it makes people want to go see it because 
they only see part of it they don't see the whole thing so it makes it like more appealing and so I personally like that and then they have some really cool ones that you do have to buy pro packs for um, but they do have some pretty good free ones that I recommend for example like this one you know you want to post that it's like half and then it just says new so yeah definitely um, am obsessed with that app So for your followers, I definitely recommend using this little app called What Time or When to Post. So I use this app called When to Post and it tells you your exact times on certain days on what is the best day or what is the best time to post. So for me right now, um, it is Monday. And it is 8.15 p.m., 10 p.m., and 10.30 p.m. And this helps you get the most engagement. And it just really tells you when your followers are online. Um, it gives you in more down to the second um, as, as to what like the insights just say on your Instagram. Because I know sometimes they'll be like, oh, 9 o'clock, you have 2.5K like, like on this little chart thing but you don't know what time at nine o'clock so for example like say if mine was 10 which i normally post mine between nine and ten o'clock at night um but it's like bam like you know exactly at 10 o'clock and 10 30 that this is when you should post because you'll get the most engagement more people are on and you'll attract more people to your page um next thing that i recommend for engagement is they really Instagram really looks at how your posts are doing based off your comments and your likes well obviously you really don't want to fake your likes or anything like that but a one, one way to cheat the system with the comments is commenting back to every single comment you get it doubles your it doubles your engagement so Instagram's algorithm will keep putting it up higher and higher and higher that's why you guys probably will see that I have pictures that have 600 and some likes on it and it's just because of these simple techniques that have really helped engage and bring more people to my page as well as you know if it is a popular event or something like that you definitely can get more people to go ahead and click and like and do that kind of stuff um that also plays a big role with your hashtags um i don't know if this is completely true this is what i have heard but putting your hashtags in your comment sections apparently it targets a greater audience and it is better to do that um just so your engagement is higher um than putting it in your actual caption itself so I mean definitely give that a shot I tend to do both or um I've played around with you know just having it in my comment like in my comments and just in my caption and it's done pretty well either way for me so I don't really see a huge difference but um word around town is that that is a good way to help engagement so you also want to engage with other people engaging in their comments um, by going ahead and commenting back to people, um, liking people's comments, and just commenting in general. Um, you guys don't realize how big sometimes this is, like this is, if you comment back to other people, they don't know who you are, and they see oh, A, it's Maddie D commented, or A, it's Maddie D liked your um, comment. And they're going to be like, oh, who's that? And they're going to go ahead and check out your page. So it's going to bring more um, like engagement to your profile. You're going to have more people looking at this, at this. So, yeah. That is basically the Instagram hacks that I have learned so far in 2019. And I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. 
If you did, please give a big thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, any video suggestions that you guys want me to film. And yeah, I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.